Um, hello, my name is Frank Rinaldi, and I'm the writer-director of the feature film Sundowning, which is in competition here at Slamdance 2012. Hi, I'm Shannon Fitzpatrick, and I am one of the producers of Sundowning. I'm also an actress in the film. I am Scott Laidlaw, and I am the editor of Sundowning. Shannon, I mean, Shannon's got some really interesting ways of describing it, too, but I'll give you, I'll give you the quick... It's a, it's a character study. It's a relationship film. Um, it follows the relationship between Shannon and her caretaker, Susan. Um, Shannon has some kind of mysterious neurodegenerative disease, um, which results in a loss of cognition, and uh, Susan is the one who's taking care of her, um, who perhaps has malicious intentions. So the film is um, its sort of a mystery film, and uh, as it progresses, as the story progresses, uh, we learn what's happening. Uh, yeah, it's a really good question. Um, when we first started working on it, I think Frank and Shannon had a, an idea of how they wanted it to feel. Um, when we started editing it, it, it definitely started to change, um, little by little. Um, the idea was definitely still there, though. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it was a lot of footage, um, since I guess one of the motifs of the film is um, routine. Yeah. Um, it got a little tough, a little difficult to edit it, just because some things look the same, but... Um, Frank broke it down pretty well, so <laughs> it was easy to, easy enough to do it on my own. So it was a great crew. They sacrificed their bodies and their psychological well beings for the sake of sundowning. It was it was about a four person crew. It was uh, Shannon and Susan, the two actors. And it was myself, uh, another producer, Stephanie, uh, Kieran Shatanvis, who is the director of photography, and then we had camera assistant Jordan Qualman and uh, sound guy uh, Hamid. And Letitia, who is our uh, wonderful production designer. Yeah, it's actually, um, we were living in Singapore at the time, and we, that's where we had access to the equipment. We had um, access um, to the resources that we need to tell the story. Uh, we'd, been li we'd lived there three years um, prior to making the film, and I think the, the picture is, is very much a product of, of living in Singapore for three years. Yes. No, that's a good question. Yeah, I do absolutely think so, um, because I think that there's a lot of humanity in it, and human beings are human beings, you know, no matter if they're in the Eastern Hemisphere or the Western Hemisphere. Um, we all feel emotions, um, and we all have a connection to story, and, um, and, and I think that that draws audiences from all over the world into the picture. Um, well, before... <laughs> <laughs> or making him cry. Um, <laughs> before the film started, um, I was really more of an assistant producer helping Stephanie out, doing fundraising, um, things of that sort. And then thankfully she just, I didn't do any producing during the film because that wouldn't have worked very well with acting and everything. Um, and then afterwards, uh, you know, there's always, especially if you're a low budget film, I feel like there's always a million things you have to do afterwards, getting, figuring out um, the cheapest way to get Telesyn, to get your film processed, um, the best places for editing, and just kind of helping him figure all of that out, um, and now sort of figuring out distribution, um, publicity, all of that stuff. You know, we're a small team, so it's kind of, everybody does all of the jobs. <laughs> we shot on, you can tell. Yeah, okay, we shot on, we shot on Super 16 Kodak, Primarily, um, it's it is there are elements of mixed media, so there are other formats in there. There there are other st uh, standard definition video formats, but it's the majority of the piece is uh, Super 16. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yes, it was absolutely. We we, al we always knew we were going to shoot film. Um, at one point in time, we were thinking about maybe shooting 35 mil, but a two perf pull down. You know, and we wanted uh, a, a really apparent grain structure. Um, a lot of our key reference films um, were coming out of the 70s. Um, ultimately, we decided to go with Super 16, and uh, we hooked up some nice 35mm uh, glass to the front of the camera in order to, uh, you know, in order to uh, allow for a, a, a greater depth of field. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I, when I was in film school, I did um, a lot of that. But you know, I my school was an experimental, uh, experimental based, uh, you know, filmmaking. So. They had to start out on Super 8, so I shot on Super 8, um, and then we would rent these little kits, and I'd edit it on 8mm on film, and then 
eventually <clears throat> graduated to the point of working on 16. So um, I was definitely familiar with that. So I think why I like to edit is because I was able to uh, work on flatbeds and edit 16 millimeter film together in a physical format. And I think that that was a good lesson on how to put things together. Yeah, um, Slam Dance is my favorite film festival. Um, we've been here with two other short films. Um, it's a wonderful experience. The programmers really know everyone's movie. They really endorse everyone's movie. They're in a way they are our biggest fans. They provide. They first of all, their programming is outstanding. It's it's innovative. Uh, they're constantly searching for new voices. Um, so they provide a platform for young independent filmmakers who would otherwise not be able to show their movies to anyone. Um, was there another part to that question? Um, yeah. Oh, and the response. Yeah, I think that. Well, I, I guess in terms of in terms of programming, you know, the programmers obviously they're supportive of the film. Uh, we had our first screening on Sunday night, and uh, I was. I was very pleased. I mean, it was the first time we'd ever shown anything to the audience, and it seemed like it really, it really connected. They really connected with the movie. Um, and you know, as as filmmakers, as artists, that's that's why we work to establish to establish connections with an audience. And I was pleased. Do you want to add to that? Um, no, I think that you pretty much covered it. But I mean, I think one of the great things about this festival is just the opportunity to meet other filmmakers um, and other like-minded filmmakers. So I think we've met a lot of people whose work we really support and enjoyed, yeah. and um, and likewise. And I think that was really encouraging at our screening to have people just fully behind what we were doing um, and really excited about it. So, sundowningthemovie.com. You can also like us on facebook.com/sundowningthemovie.